Good morning and welcome, Hi, welcome to Integrity Cells and Services. This morning, Dave and I are going to give you another nice video of our 1997 GMC C7500 forestry bucket truck with a High Ranger Terex Telec Boom. Now, as you could hear in the background, Dave just fired up this truck and he's got the PTO in gear and we're going to show you that the hydraulics work from the PTO from the truck engine. Now, the PTO is engaged right there. Right there is where you can see you engage and you step the clutch in, pull that up and you're in. The light's on up in the dash nice and bright you can see that up in there so all that works and then you just hit it right here up and down now this truck also has throttle control you can rev it up but right now we're going to go ahead and show you the blow by on the engine and, uh, and continue with the video okay folks Dave's going to open up the engine compartment for us going to open the hood and while he's doing that I'm going to let you have a nice look at these fresh sandblasted and painted 22.5 front rims with nice deep tread let's follow up here and Dave's going to pull the dipstick out for us let us have a good look at the engine oil which is on the actual passenger side. So let's follow him on around here, folks. Okay, Dave's got the dipstick out. Let's take a look. Now look, you can see right through that oil onto the stick. It's that clean. Take a look at the blow-by next. Now as you can tell there, folks, there's absolutely no blow-by escaping this engine. And I'm going to come up close. You can hear this motor just purrs very nice. It's hitting on all eight cylinders like it's supposed to. You can see evidence of a lot of recent maintenance on it. You can see all exhaust manifolds, gaskets have been changed. This sucker just runs really nice. But Dave's going to go ahead and shut off the engine so we can hear better. You can see we have a very nice blasted painted rim on this side, somewhere in that 60-70% shred range. And look how nice and clean it is under the engine compartment. Folks, take a look. You can see evidence of all its new exhaust manifold bolts, new exhaust manifold gaskets. Take a look in there. You can see we have a nice clean looking radiator. Let's move on around and let you have a look at that on the driver's side as well. As you can see, we have the same rim and tire set up on this side. Everything matches. Again, look at the undercarriage. You can see it's very clean. Take a look. Very nice and dry along the valve cover gaskets. No sign of oil running down. Very clean looking radiator. And look underneath on the cowl of the cab. There's absolutely no rust. With that, Dave's going to drop the hood. I'm going to come on around to the front and let's follow Dave around. Next, we're going to fire up the pony motor. Now, we're going to do an overview and, and we're going to continue walking around showing you aspects of the truck. I'm going to go ahead and fire up this, this money set saving pony motor for you and go ahead and operate the boom for you and show you how it works. So we're going to step right up in here. Right here is your choke and your throttle for the pony motor. And we're going to open up the door right here. Inside is where you actually start the motor. This has a, this thing has a really nice, you press this in uh, and if you would lose oil pressure or if you would lose your coolant, the motor automatically shuts down. So I'm going to go ahead and key start the thing for you right now and here we go. As you can tell, folks, that little three-cylinder Kubota pony motor just come right to life. Purrs like a kitten. Dave's going to go ahead and we're going to check out the operation of the boom. I'm going to go ahead and flip the selector to the upper controls, and I'm going to rev the throttle up. Okay, folks, I'm going to step back so we can hear better in a video, and we'll get a better view of Dave operating this boom from the pony motor itself and he's sitting in the bucket and look at the speed you got guys no jeopardizing quality when it comes to running it from the big V8 fuel guzzling motor compared to the three cylinder fuel sipping motor and look at that speed folks you're looking at a high ranger full hydraulic controlled boom break over center now watch this sucker it'll go right over the top and down to the bottom you can work with your ground crew without having to get in and out of your bucket at her climb down the ladder every time. Look at her come down straight over center and she'll set right down on the floor. It is such a money saving machine. Look at her come down, no problem whatsoever. With that, Dave's gonna go ahead and return it, take it back up and then later we'll watch him as he raises the boom and does the other functions. While he's doing that, I'm gonna walk up close, give you a nice overview of this nice, straight, freshly painted chipper box. Folks, just look how nice and clean this is. Let's get a good look at the back of the truck at this point. Folks, there is a mount for the pinnel hitch. There's the electric control hookup, brake controller, and I do have a pinnel hitch for this truck if you want to pull a chipper. Folks, and also, take a look around the back of the truck. No rust. It's very, very nice and clean. Let's let you have a look at this side of the chipper dump box. You can see it is in mint, flawless condition. Now, let's go ahead and step back. Dave's running the control up. For the lower stick, you can see it works fine. Now he's going to go ahead and show you the rotation works just as well. Folks, when you come to a stop, there is no jerking. This bull gear is tight on this sucker. She works very, very nice. 
As you can see, the speed of rotation is very good as well. You can see him rotating in this boom. It'll go all the way around 360 degree continuous rotation. Folks, the old trucks used to go 180 degrees. You'd have to stop and unwind your hoses. It would not let you go around continuously. This truck doesn't care. Think of the savings you got there when you can go around and around, and it simply doesn't matter. Folks, with that, I'm going to come on around to the front of the truck and let you have a nice look at it from this perspective with him swinging the boom around. And as you can tell, folks, that pony motor just sits there and hums, and it'll do that all day long. On a few gallons of fuel, and compared to using your big V8 motor, all the wear and tear on your transmission and your PTO, it is unexpressible how much this will save you. Now, folks, I'm going to go ahead at this point, and I'm going to show you the operation of the actual chipper dump box here in the video in just a moment. Let's get him back here. He's going to raise the lower stick so that I can raise the chipper dump body, and then we're going to go ahead and let you see how she works. Let's walk one up here, and I'm going to idle this motor back a bit. Okay, we're going to idle her down so we can hear better. I'm going to change the selector to lower control, and I'm going to go ahead and raise the box for us. Now, here you go with this motor sitting here purring at an idle. You can see how flawlessly this chipper dump body works. And, folks, it also will dump from the PTO of the gas engine on the actual main drive. It will work flawlessly from either control. With that, I'm going to go ahead and shut off this engine so we can hear better in the video. And with the engine shut off, I'm going to go ahead and we'll start right down along the passenger side of the trucks. Now, folks, look at that nice safety carriage on top. She's not all beat up and busted. The cab is in flawless condition. You know, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I popped right in the bucket, went right around. I'm not afraid. We're boom certified here. We're accredited by the American Crane Association. It means we check all our hoses, all our tolerances. Uh, we check them out so they're safe, that they'll, that they'll pass. Uh, as you notice here, we operated the back with the pony motor here, but we can also operate that with the truck engine. So if you get your job done and get all your chips in the back, and you don't want to start your pony motor, you're still able to start the truck motor, engage your PTO, and move the boom, and go ahead and dump and put it back down. Now come on up here and take a look how beautiful this truck is. Okay, folks, let's start right down along the passenger side of the cab, and you can see she is flawless and immaculate when it comes to paint. Look at that. There's no evidence of any rust blisters under this fresh paint on the frame. Nice, clean outriggers. No oil leaking down. Take a look. You can see all your control knobs are intact. None are broken or busted off. Again, let's have Dave open the compartment for the Capota pony motor and we'll let you have a look in here. Folks, look how immaculately clean it is. Now, back in there that you're looking at in the back is not repainted. That is actual factory paint showing how nice and clean it is. You got this real nice pony motor, excellent looking radiator. With that, he's going to open up the toolbox compartment door for you and we'll let you have a look in there so that you can witness yourself that it's not a rusted out piece of junk, folks. You're looking at a truck with lots of life left. Look at this floor in this toolbox. Look at the back of it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as you think about a pony motor and you think about that running and that operating many hours, this is a Kubota, a Kubota engine. That's the same motor they put in Bobcats. It's a really you can get, you can get parts for it. It's, it stands the test of time. They've built their name. It'll work for you. Folks, let's continue. Take a look at the back of this toolbox area. Let's look at the frame structure. You can see it cleaned up very nice, has very nice paint on it. Look at the nice tread, nice heavy-duty frame spring packs on the back, nice clean rims. Let's come on around to the back of the truck. We have the bed elevated. I showed you the nice bed before. Dave's going to go ahead and fire the pony motor back up, and we're going to lower the bed to do the rest of the video so you can get a nice look at the truck with the bed in its lowered position. So there you go. You hear the pony motor firing back up, and he's going to drop the body force and then we'll get the rest of the video done for you here folks while he's doing that again I want to express to you the ease of operation now imagine if you had to jump in the truck and start the big motor and push the clutch in how much time that would have taken just to lower this box instead all he did was turn the key and lower the box now imagine that's just one point of the savings of having the Kubota motor folks you know you're going to be doing that on your job all the time look at the nice clean back of the truck let's walk up close and as I stated earlier I do have a panel hitch for this if it's so desired folks you can take a look up under the undercarriage and see it's very respectful for a 1997 year model. Let's go ahead and look up along the side of this box. You can see it's very clean just like the passenger side. Come on up, see the framework. You can see the tire tread, the rim condition, excellent looking toolboxes. That brings us now up along the driver's side of the cab and folks you can see it is in immaculate condition just like the passenger side. I'm going to come on around to the front of it and let you have a squared off look at the front. 
take a look how nice the actual carriage sits on top along with the hood lining up with the bumper. It is all in excellent condition. Next, we're going to have Dave open the driver's door and we'll get you a nice look at the interior. Come on inside in the interior. We've cleaned this sucker out and made it ready for you to work. Okay, take note, folks. Very nice and clean along the bottom of the doors. Again, what you're looking at in here is original paint. And, folks, there's nothing to hide. Look at the back in behind the seat. Look how nice and clean that is. It shines like new. Folks, take a look at the actual PTO control that we pointed out to you before. You can see we have a flawless-looking full bench seat made for three passengers with seat belts. You can see it's got an excellent headliner. The dash itself is in flawless mint condition. It's not all broken and busted up. And, folks, where are you going to go? go and find a 97 with 85,881 miles. If you can find it in this condition, bring it to our attention. I feel we have a truck here that's second to none when it comes to quality and the miles for the entire overall package. With that, I'm going to go ahead and fire the truck up and let you see the engine oil pressure. So here, follow me along. We're going to turn the key. You can see the gauge is sweep. We're going to push the clutch all the way down and we're going to fire it up. Here we go. As you can hear, she came right to life. We're sitting there at about 50-some pounds of oil pressure at an idle. I'm going to bring a little throttle into it, and you can see she comes up there at about 60. And folks, here's a good opportunity to see the gauges working. You can see the voltmeter, the fuel gauge, the tack, everything is working, and there are no check engine or service lights on on the dash, period. With that, we're going to exit the truck, and we're going to let Dave uh, give you a nice closing presentation on the video. Thanks for watching our video. Give us a call at 260-238-5000. Visit our website at 99trucks.com. That's the two numeral nines, 99, and the word trucks.com. I've got lots of trucks and grinders to choose from. I want to make a deal with you. Give me a call. Thanks for watching the video, and have a wonderful day.